Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've had thousands of requests, but this has to be the, I'm not gonna say the weirdest one, but the strangest one. And there's a lot you could, I've seen videos on people that do this, and you could do a lot more than just separate this gentleman's face. And if we kind of put like, uh, well, I should have hit C on the keyboard to put him back even. It's just spaced out. So somebody sent me this picture, and I'm not gonna go through all the steps, but what I did is I traced this, outline trace, clip art, takes just a second, and then I removed the background. I was just going for the gentleman's face, so I, I deleted as, I'm gonna go ahead and let it run. Shouldn't take just a little bit. And you know, a lot of people say, well, you could have it automatically remove the background, but there's so many colors that it's just not gonna work. So it's almost done. Once it hits 100%, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go ahead and just delete this guy and we're gonna move our trace version over the time. And when, when I see this, I see that there's a problem. So we're gonna go look at it in a view and wireframe. I could see some lines that are gonna cause this problem. So I'm just gonna delete these lines. Those lines probably aren't even gonna matter anyway because they're part of the outline, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them so they won't mess us up. And at this time, you could probably go ahead and delete some of these lines. And I didn't do this prior. Uh, I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like. This might even be beneficial, uh, but it's taken too long. So what we're gonna do now is go back and look at it under view and, and enhanced. So we did get rid of some of the stuff and we you're gonna to have to break it apart, go to object group and ungroup, and then just delete these segments of the line. And it did help me a little bit because it got some of them away faster. I just, I'm gonna leave his tie in his shirt uh, just because it's not in the way and I don't wanna mess up anything. But there's his face and it's terrible because it's it's a trace bitmap, but it'd be kind of cool uh, uh, as a, a graphic if you lined art it or something. I'm gonna take the smart fill tool and I'm gonna fill that in. Then I'm gonna move, okay. I can't believe I changed my nudge factor to what we need to be um, when I was playing with it, I think I had it on four inches. Let's see what happens when we do four inches. Nope, must've been five. That's one thing I always try to stress, do not move things. So I'm a little bit off, but we're, we're gonna adjust that, that's fine. So just remember, don't move stuff around. Then take your smart fill tool and fill in the center and nudge that over. Now we're gonna, Go ahead and change our nudge factor to something light, little 0 .001, and we're gonna place that back kind of where it needs to be, and that's good enough. Now we're gonna use the intersect tool, and look what happened. Well, I need to set my nudge factor back to like, let's go four inches. Let me zoom in here so you can see this. And we're gonna, Take that down and look at this. We've cut that gentleman's background out and now it's his real face in lieu of this. That's kind of the part and then you're gonna bring in some lines and then kind of center it over the gentleman's face and you want to be able to nudge his face completely out of the way and this is gonna be good. So now what we can do is nudge his face over, take our first, I just built uh, five rectangles that are quarter inch and duplicated them down. Now I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna intersect that and I'm actually nudge it over. I can actually leave the other box. See, that's why you wanna do them in kind of an order. Grab it all, intersect, put that back move the next one over, intersect, 
And if I was doing this a lot, I'd maybe build a, make a hot key for intersect. Um, so I'm just moving these boxes back and forth. You can't do them all at one time. The intersect tool just isn't going to work. Um, almost done. Then we're going to play with it. Because there's a lot. I've seen videos on this. Uh, I have never seen anybody do this. But I've seen them take a, the gentleman's face and then actually look like I might even play with this tomorrow. So now you have your separation. Now you've got lines in between it, but that's uh, just the thickness of your line, just a hairline. And then just whatever you're going to do with it, you know, set your nudge factor on like 0.25, move his top of his head. You know, I don't know that you would print this like on a T-shirt or what, you know, if some famous person or yourself. Uh, but like I said, there's a lot you could do with this. And I might even play with it tomorrow. You could, you know, make it actually look like you're looking in, like actually there are slivers and not looking at it dead on, um, where you could kind of see the inside of his head. Anyway, pretty weird request, but that's what the lady wanted. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.